Okay, now um, I'm just uh, going to give this is like not a very long one, just a brief one on um, uh, JavaScript. Now, I don't propose to go into the details of JavaScript language because it's a it's a complex uh, language and it's not one that you really want to go into. But at least it's worthwhile understanding, for instance, um, how it is that iWeb 08 deals with things that it embeds, right? It's, it's you know, how you whack a widget in. Um, well, one of the ways it deals with it uh, is through running a JavaScript um, a file. And I'll just show you that I've got, for instance, um, this uh, website here which I just happen to have on me at the moment and I've published this with my photos okay so I've got my photos there I'm going to um, open the uh, where is the inspector here he is there's inspector um, okay and uh, I'm going to look at the um, photos bit here and let's have a look at that we've got smaller fast faster downloading or medium or large high quality so don't forget you got those options um, <coughs> a lot of people write in sort of saying oh look the photos look like crap or don't forget you know rubbish in rubbish out you've got to have good quality photos in and if you want them to come out then they've got to be larger and high quality to come out um, or at least say the original full quality even um, to come out I'll show you where those go anyway how you'd find them and that way you can test to see what's going on uh, allow visitors to subscribe um, allow comments uh, and so some people have had problems with this allow comments um, don't forget that the the comment side only uh, works on um, the dot Mac site because it's got to be driven by something to, something on the server itself dot Mac is a server so if you're um, uh, you know, if you're publishing to somewhere else, that that comment, the comment side will probably or definitely won't work. One of those two. <laughs> um, and uh, okay, so now there's not much involved in that that you need to worry about too much. Enable slideshow, whether you want dissolve or not. Show reflection. I re I reckon bloody reflection's a bit of a um, kind of. Uh, I think it stuffs it up a bit anyway. Um, show captions. I'm actually going to take that off because I haven't got any captions on mine. Um, and uh, whether you want to do it full screen or not, I, like I've said in the past, I don't think full screen is a good idea uh, because it kind of takes over your computer. But look, if you feel like it, then um, you click it, you see what you think, you know, have a look at it. So, um, okay, now zoom back up. It's pretty cool that zoom, isn't it? You, all you have to do is, if you've got a um, Mighty Mouse or anything with a trackball on it, um, uh, hold control down and you can do this backwards and forwards um, in any program. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think you've got to be on 10.4 point whatever it is for it to work. Um, now, let's have a look. I've published this already, so I'm just actually going to get rid of it. I'm not going to bother publishing it again. Uh, and let's have a look and see where they are. Now, don't forget that uh, if you open your <coughs> your iDisk folder, I'll just zoom up so you can see this. So there's the iDisk folder. <coughs> um, you've got all these different bits and pieces, but everything you do in web comes in in iWeb comes into the web folder. Um, the RSS is left over from O6 forget about that so if we're just doing oh wait uh, the sites um, open the sites folder up and there you've got Dave's test site which is the site that I'm doing these files forget about them the index HTML is is important because that one I think I'm pretty sure yes it does it redirects directly through to Dave's site just have a quick look at that I'll show you if you drag it down onto um, uh, if I can drag it down click and drag it onto um, text. There we are. Text edit. <coughs> when that opens up, you'll see there's this bugger all in it. Um, it says uh, 
transition, blah, 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 refresh, and then it's got a thing that points, the refresh, and then it gives a content, URL equals, and that, well, it, it posts me into my Dave's test site, slash, to the first page being welcome HTML. Okay, so that that's all of the um, XML language that's used in it. Very little involved. Uh, so that's all of that that all that that index one does. And uh, I think across the board you'll find that that's the case. Okay, all the index HTMLs on published with iWeb. Uh, are just redirection ones and it leaves it up to you to then change the name to whatever you uh, want your first page to be. So if we open my site up, what you'll find is my first page is called Welcome HTML because I was pretty silly. Now, um, that's pretty straightforward. Let's just have a quick look at the at this for instance. If we, um, whoops, um, if I drag this down onto text edit and you can use um, BB Edit as well. That's a bloody good program, really good. If you want to have a look at the structure of it and you know a bit about HTML, um, you'll see that there's on the text edit one. Uh, there's a standard kind of meta tags: meta name generator, meta name iWeb build content. Um, you know the title of the sheet itself, Dave's. Uh, Dave tests art. Um, then it's got script types, text, JavaScript, source script is, and it's got iWebsite.js. So scripts, that's where the source of the JavaScripts are. Um, it's got a whole bunch of of different things it tells you there, and then it's got because I must. Oh yes, I've got a widget in it. So in fact, the the reason I've, I've the reason it's got all of this is because I've got a widget on the page. And uh, this is all calling the widget up um, and uh, and getting it to exercise until it finally gets to the bottom where it, where it signs itself out with this. So that's HTML. So okay, there's nothing much important about that. However, when you look at the photos one, now there's uh, some people have been reporting problems with the photos one. Now the structure of the photos is important to look at. You've got the photos page or whatever you want to call it, right? And then you've got photo files, and in the photo files you've got this interesting kind of structure. So um, uh, I don't know why they're called why it's crayon black, but anyway, it it is. It's a uh, these are all PNGs. So I'll open that up. Let's have a look and see what it is. And from that you can see. Oh yes, of course. That's the um, uh, these are the little corner bits that I put on each photo in the thing. See, it's a picture of a corner and um, so there'll be, you know, one on each side of the photo, so that's what they are. So you can just go through and if you want to, you're not sure, you know, go and double click on them, particularly if you look at the file type PNG is a graphic file, right? Um, now CSS is Cascading Style Sheet and what that is, is a text file that you can open up um, and